What's up guys, Jutamasi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to the very first video regarding FIFA 16 official news from Gamescom. This is actually the official card design and they've shown every single card for FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. And it's a pretty big one given the fact we see these cards all the time guys. So as always, if you can smash 2,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on these cards. Do you think they're nice? Do you think they're absolutely horrible? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're to my channel, class subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And apologies if I sound tired, I have only just woken up as that is part of my sleeping pattern. So the first card we'll look at are going to be the non rare cards. So these non rare cards have actually changed shape from previous FIFAs, of course they would, as I think every single card design has actually changed shape to uh, kind of match the legend one, but I mean in general they're very basic, very plain, and they don't really interest me too much. But we'll definitely be seeing them in our starter packs. Moving on, we've got the rare cards and these ones, they are shiny as shit. And personally I'm very, very excited about these cards because they're very, very nice looking, and uh, again, everyone's having different opinions. Some people hate them, some people absolutely love them, but for me, for rare cards they do look very, very tidy. I'm hoping the little triangles in the background also shine in game, like kind of thing, like little gradients on them, uh, we'll have to wait and see when the gameplay comes out. And now we move on to the big boys, the in-form cards. Now they've actually got their own card shape this time. They actually match a legend card shape and they are really, really nice. Them silver informs, holy shit, they look nice as well. The gold ones look good, bronze look good as well. Uh, but again, we'll be putting them week in, week out and they look freaking sick. Again, though, they're just my opinion and I actually think they look better than this year's. And moving on, we have got the team of seasons and the team of the year card. Now the team of seasons are very similar all around. They kind of like remind me a little bit of the FIFA 12 ones where they all match, but they've got like little differences here and there. They obviously they've got the gold, silver, and bronze, and the team there is uh, blue and black. I wasn't really a fan of the team of season cards this FIFA, but these ones for me are a little bit better. I mean, again, some of them will grow on people. Some people absolutely hate the FIFA 15 cards and ended up absolutely loving them. And because we only get these cards once a year, pretty much, it does make them a little bit more special. And uh, obviously, team of the year January, um, I probably might have mentioned that before, and team of the season in uh, like up from May onwards. But I mean, in general, the cards do look very, very nice, much better than this season's ones, um, because, I don't know, this season's bronze ones look a bit like record breakers. But being a person that collects silver cards, them silver cards definitely do interest me, and they look very, very tidy. Now we're going to go on to special cards. The first one is going to be the legend card. And we actually managed to see this card last week, but the actual theme of the card shape does match in with the rest of the, like, the informs and also the team this season's. But I mean, it does look very, very nice to go the uh, legend card, sorry. And if you want to actually make your own custom cards of this, head over to footwiz.com and use their card creator. And I've actually used that for an up and coming video coming out later today. And now we have got the record Breaker. Record Breaker looks very nice. It actually kind of matches the Barcelona badge. Uh, obviously, it's got Messi on, but the red and blue looks really nice. The Man of the Match card is next, and it's not as vibrant as it previously was. I don't know if I'm actually a fan of the Man of the Match card. I'm not sure why. Um, it looks a little bit dull, in my opinion. Then we've got the green St. Paddy's Day cards. Again, uh, them ones don't really interest me, but the Record Breaker definitely does. That Record Breaker is very, very, very nice. And the final cards, we have got the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Heroes card. That's the one. The Footies and the Pro Player card. The purple card's actually a lot toned down from this year's one, because again, it's not as bright as it used to be. I think that's kind of the theme they're going for. I'm not too sure. Again, they might shine like hell in game. Uh, we've got the pink footy cards. Again, not as vibrant as this year's. And the pro player card looks decent, but none of us will get our hands on one. But I do think it's pretty cool they've released all these at once. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite card. Again, for me, probably record breaker or silver informs and silver tots. I don't know. Silver for me, just they're kind of like, it's my favorite cards to be honest. But in general, they're a really nice set of cards. So guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. 2,000 likes would be absolutely awesome. Again, let me know in the comments below your thoughts. What do you think is the best looking card? And what do you think is the worst? looking card. Let me know that in the comments below. If you use my channel, class subscribe button for daily FIFA content. That's FIFA 16 uh, content from now on, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.